Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, as you've seen by the title, even though I've been on YouTube for a year, technically I never actually introduced myself or did one of these in, like introduction videos and I've seen a few booktubers doing this video kind of circulating around where they basically do the booktube newbie tag even though they have been creating for a little while because technically I haven't sat down and just kind of set out my intentions for my channel or just talked about why I did it and stuff like that so that's what we're going to do today there's a bunch of questions maybe you'll get to know me a little bit more let's just get into it so the first question nice and simple is why did you start this channel I have always 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 loved reading and talking about books and getting so immersed into like whatever story I'm reading that I will talk and I will tell anyone who's in my life exactly the whole plot, in and out, everything. And you know, not everyone, majority of people in my life are not into reading, they don't care. And I just really fell in love with the book community online and the way you could just be so passionate about reading and what you love and how people are passionate about so many different genres. And I just felt like this was a space where I could talk about my favorite books and something I was so passionate about. You could build a community with so many other people who love the same books as you or have way different opinions on books and getting recommendations. And it's just, I feel, especially on YouTube, booktube is a really like positive community and an encouraging community. I've always felt very, like at home watching those videos so I just really felt like if there was somewhere I could go to talk about reading it was here so that is why I started this channel the next question is what unique things can you bring to booktube and this is kind of an interesting question I feel like obviously my personality is my personality so it's going to be different to anyone else's but I don't know I guess because a lot of maybe the community is like solely in America or England and like not being from there maybe brings a slightly different perspective, I don't know. But yeah, I guess just my own opinions are going to be different to everyone else's. Hopefully that's unique and exciting and fun and hopefully my humour is different or yeah, I'm not really sure. I think just me being me is unique in itself and yeah that's yeah <laughs> the next question is what are you most excited about with your channel and honestly it's just building a community even in the past year i've been slowly making videos obviously it's just like a fun hobby for me and just like a side passion <laughs> project if you will and even just growing a little community and interacting with people getting recommendations and just talking to everyone getting the opportunity to meet like-minded people who just love books so much like that is the sole purpose is just talking to people who have like such a passion for it and also getting like arcs like the opportunity of reading these books you're so excited for and interacting with authors and all that stuff literally it's just such an exciting community and everything I, I love editing it just brings me so much joy and yeah every day I'm filming a new video I'm excited next question is why do you love reading and I'm sure this is the most generic answer that everyone who makes these videos is going to say but it is the escapism the ability to just escape into this whole other world and also what I love about it is that I can almost be in the minds of these people that I will never exist as like someone who lives in a different country a different gender a different religion a different race i can see into their minds and see how they see the world and their perspective and historically and it's just so vast and i think it's just another way of learning but also obviously you know you're getting a cute fluffy romance that's still valid i think that's still you experiencing something that isn't your own life and especially when you're stressed or you're busy when you get into a good story you're in it and it's like you've transported into a new world I think it's 
it's just it's really like amazing honestly and I've read it for as long as I could remember I have always loved it so much and just the way it's like you're living in your imagination for a little bit because everyone who reads reads the story slightly different I think that's so intriguing that if I read a book I might envision it completely differently to the other person and that's so interesting I'll never know how you view it is in your mind or how you imagine the character I don't know I just think I love reading because it's so it's such a broad experience so vast and yeah obviously it's not that deep but it is to me um I just love it so and it's just fun <laughs> it's just fun the next question is when did you start reading and I have been reading since I actually could probably understand sentences my mom loves reading my nana loved reading and like my mom kept her books from when she was younger to make sure I had them so I have those and it's just so amazing to have them and I plan on keeping my books for my kids when I'm older and yeah I started reading when I was really really small my mom would always make sure I was reading every single night I was picking out them stories she was reading them to me and then eventually I was reading them and I'm just yeah I stopped for a, a good while in like school and I got back into reading during the pandemic so yeah I had a little like a like four or five year gap and then I just was thrown back into it. I used to be a competitive swimmer and that kind of took up my whole life. And when all of that stopped with, you know, COVID and then I stopped swimming, um, I had so much time and a lot of it I dedicated to reading. So that kind of just brought me back into the world. And ever since it's just been like something I did every day. So yeah, it's always been a big, big part of my life. Okay, next question is what book or series got me into reading and going back into reading I think the first book oh my god yeah this actually is going to sound insane the very first book that I read getting back into reading was A Little Life I had not read in years and the first book that I read was A Little Life now I loved it it took me like two months to read because I hadn't read in so long but that was yeah that definitely got me back into it but it was a choice <laughs> it was definitely a choice um would I recommend reading that as your first book no but it was a choice and I'm here here I am so obviously it did something if we're going all the way back to the start I used to read those I don't know if you can I don't remember what they were called but they had these like fairies on them we used to have them in school but I was obsessed with Jacqueline Wilson and if you read her books okay are you okay first of all like why were we allowed to read that at like seven go read something cute because why are they so dark honest to god like her her children's books were dark but they were so good they absolutely slapped and I was obsessed with them like the Hedy Feather books Tracy Beaker Darling what was it Little Darlings I think he said, whoa, Vicky. No, what was it? It was like, Vicky Angel? I don't know, but her books, they're my everything. I was also like, Dork Diaries, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, those are my everything. But the next question is, what challenges do you think you'll face having this channel? I think probably like time management because I always like to put like so much on my plate. So even now I'm always, you know, trying to film and trying to edit but also like I have like an astronomical amount of like college work and I have a job again all that's normal everyone has that but you know what I mean so and I'm a perfectionist so if I'm editing something I'm like this needs to be good so I'm not rushing I think like my main thing is always gonna want to be prioritizing quality over quantity so obviously when you have a channel and you want to grow you obviously want consistency and I think it's going to be finding the balance between being consistent and like making a lot of content, but then also taking my time making quality content. So trying to find a balance with that, you know? Um, yeah, other than that, like I love editing. I find so find it so much fun. And I had a big passion for that for years and I always wanted to start a channel. I was just too scared. 
basically I was just too scared when I was in school but once I was finished school and I went to college I was like who honestly cares no one cares so I just started it I'm so happy that I did the next question is where do you read and honestly it's more like where don't I read like I probably look like that insufferable person like public is just reading trying to look all like mysterious and stuff but genuinely like I'll be going somewhere for 10 minutes but like I have to bring my kindle there's no way I'm not bringing it with me even if I know there's absolutely no chance I'm gonna be reading maybe like a one percent chance could happen I need that kindle or I need that book with me like every day I normally have like a kindle and two books with me in my bag because like you know I just it's like emotional support it's like my emotional support book I need that there so I am always reading I read everywhere I read in bed before I go to sleep, in my house, in college, on the bus, in the car, not when I'm driving. I don't drive yet. I can't drive yet. But anyway. um, everywhere. Literally everywhere. I love reading outside. I think that's the best. Like when it's like, it's nice, like breezy day. It's nice and warm. <sighs> Nothing better, honestly. Next is what? kind of books do you like to read so I assume like genres primarily I've always always have been number one literary fiction that has been like my baby like that is my everything but in the last like year and a bit I just like fell in love with romance reading so I read a lot of romance and if you watch my videos you know that I just think romance is so it is pure escapism and I think literary fiction also is but it also has a lot of themes that are like sad or dark or heavy and when you're really just trying to escape and you're like stressed or you're having a busy time going into a cute romance like that's just going into like a Disney movie do you know so yeah romance literary fiction romance and I love a good biography like you know like a celebrity memoir and I read my first romanticy recently, so I think fantasy is going to be on the horizon for me because Perilous was everything. It was everything. Check out my video if you want to see that because that was everything. <laughs> yeah, those are definitely like primarily my main ones. So I'm a huge classics lover, but obviously I know that that is not something that a lot of people are into. So don't worry, unless you want to see videos about classics and things like that. I probably won't be talking about them too much on my channel but who knows I might do a couple of videos here and there but yeah you can just feel free to just let them be <laughs> yeah if you're not interested in classics but I do recommend if you are to just give them a try but yeah those are all the questions if you have any more questions about books about booktube about anything just for me in general I would love 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 to answer any of them I hope that you enjoyed today's video it was very different it was weird just kind of just chatting about my channel in general instead of books and if you enjoyed feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff let me know your answers to any of these questions i'd be really really happy to chat to you about them and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye